whether it is smiles or steely focus, it is pride for their nations and pride in their jerseys and respect for one another. And once again, Australia and New Zealand vie for a trophy for Cup Gold, Rugby World Cup Gold. Holly Davidson, experienced referee to enjoy this occasion as well. Underway in the Rugby World Cup Sevens 2022 final. It is Australia who have first possession. These teams have gone at each other. Not quite as often this season. It's Australia who hit it 2-1. Last time out, the Commonwealth Games semi-final. Had any tries to get in for New Zealand and she's wrestled Kaslik there. Oh, Hidden, he's gone in and stolen that for the Kiwis penalty. Great technique in the contact there. The captain of New Zealand over the ball once, twice. Nabbed it in the end. Look at that. Just gets over. The Australian player over the top there. Just ineffective. Ashby. Hit and he won that one. Yep. Wallamina watching on. Approach. New version of Wallamina. Set. Last two championships for New Zealand. But the last win between these teams was Australia's as Reese Polly Lane scoots away from the base of the scrum. Flulet hits the line for New Zealand and lays it back once more for her halfback. He is Blyde. Oh, the footwork from Blyde was good, but so was the tackle of Nathan. And it spills out illegally so on Australia's side. Otherwise, Nathan would have been away had the whistle not gone. Well, I think she deemed that the Australian player might have been just offside there. Either way, it is New Zealand ball and they're opting for the scrum. Great opportunity to roll out one of those set moves that we saw in their semi-final or just go wide. I'm intrigued by what New Zealand will Crouch. actually play out here because they've Vines. already shown three different game plans. Set. Certainly got a lot of tools in the toolbox. Poldy Lane in and out it goes for Kelly Brazier. Brazier across for Flula. Flula drifting across looking for Blyde and just the miscommunication. The tussle for the ball is Australia's great hustle from Lefal Fakul Salia, but Blyde did well to get back and win the turnover. Brazier for the line. Brazier the try. Heads up play from the experienced Brazier. Fantastic to see Brazier, the most experienced player in the team here. Look at that quick tap. She actually put it against the body of the Australian player. They went back 10. Total confusion. The black over first. Yeah, two Australian defenders make that three. No one identified who was taking who. Brazier in her third Rugby World Cup sevens. Two gold medals to show for it so far. Six survivors from the New Zealand team who won in 2018, in fact. Australia, their chance to respond. Poldy Lane is just going to send that 10 metres. Wow, that is spectacular in the air from Soraya Pucky. Absolutely brilliant. Williams and Hidani, two great rivals and great friends. And it's Shani Williams barreling through the New Zealand defence. Chase is coming. Woodman gets her on the 22. Huge charge from Williams. New Zealand scrambling back as Australia piles forward. Lefal Fakusalia, she is so strong to stand in the tackle and offload to Kaslik. Still there for Australia. Numbers for Levi. Levi for the corner. And Australia hits straight back. And that is the way the Aussies do it. They get the ball out so quickly. Right to the edges of the field. Look at this take in the air. It was absolutely brilliant from Pucky. 
And then on this side, a straight out missed tackle from the captain, Hidani. And it was Williams, the oldest on the paddock for Australia, and then beautiful ball out there to Levi. We've seen her do that so many times in the last 12 months. Version no good. The footwork is good on and off the field. Five all. What would you expect? Nothing less. restarts for Australia to be taken down by Flula for New Zealand. Here is Niall Williams. Had a neat. Oh, luck, Pauly Lane, little bit of a juggle and tackle, just a bit high from Williams. Just keeping the players safe when the referees call those up. You've got to keep it below the shoulder line every single time. Bit of a juggle ball there too. See, nothing dangerous there. It's just the letter of the law that needs to be abided by. Crouch. Bind. Set. Holdy Lane scoots away to the blind side where she has Brazier. She'll cut back this side. Oh, Woodman's fumbled that straight through the hands. Mistake, big mistake from Woodman. A little bit nervy, perhaps, from the New Zealanders just in that last 40 yep. seconds or so. Maybe Kelly Brazier needed to take it into the tackle and form the ruck instead of pushing the ball back to somebody who was in a worse off position. The key is how you bounce back from mistakes, Crouch. though, for New Zealand. Bind. Set. Charlotte Caslet will feed the scrum. She's got the crafty and creative Ashbeat, Maddie Ashbeat with her, and here goes the number eight scooting across field. The foul Fakusalia, she's so strong again. So tough in the middle there, Kaslik. It's difficult ball for Australia, but good ball for Williams. Williams, Brazier and Hidany, those are the names you've said time and again on the sevens field. Oh, Kaslik for Levi, caught out the New Zealand defence. Levi scores once more. She loves those five pointers, doesn't she? Levi, the perfect finisher, but also amazing heads up play there by who else but Charlotte Kaslik. Hedony was left in the rut. It meant Portia Woodman was in the middle of no man's land. Even if she had have got up on Levi early, that would have given Kaslik the opportunity to take the try. Wonderful work, Australia. Last time Maddie Levi played against New Zealand, she scored a hat trick in the Commonwealth Games semi final. And now she's given her team a nice advantage heading towards half time. Great conversion, too, by Williams. And it's 12 points to five Australia over New Zealand in the World Cup final. Hear the call from Flula. Williams. Just stuck down here for the last couple of minutes. New Zealand. Oh, Poldy Lane has sprinted through that gap, puncturing Kaslik, coming back at her Australian jerseys everywhere. Oh, Poldy Lane goes again. Still going, Reese Poldy Lane now needs the support. It's there in Brazier and Woodman. Nope. Oh, Australia yeah, got themselves off offside. What a bastard hit and he wanted to go and back she goes. That's <laughs> the right choice to try for the quick tap. And here she is. Pudi Lane, everyone talks about the Blythes, the Woodmans, but this young lady has been absolutely outstanding here at the Rugby World Cup. What a run. What an option. <laughs> Three chases and Kaslik did so well to reel her in. Crouch. Bind. Determination and desperation Set. from those Australian defenders so quick. Here goes Poldy Lane once more for Brazier. Brazier is going to take them on herself. Flula on the switch black. Flula for the line. Nip and tuck, nip and tuck. And now it's Stacey Flula for New Zealand. And that, for everybody watching, was the perfect example of a late cut. Stay on the outside right to the last second. And then Flula back in right when the hole presented itself because the outside defence there and the number six jersey for Australia had to stay on the outside just in case 
Flula got it on that edge, but instead she came back in late. Beautiful work. Holding Lane to try and convert and level us up. Not quite, just short. So Australia noses in front at halftime in the final. They lead New Zealand 12 points to 10. Rivalry like other is no other is producing another of those finals. Australia 12, New Zealand 10. Second half of a Rugby World Cup Sevens 2022 final to decide our champions. It's in again to the hands of Sheree Kaka onto the field at half time for New Zealand. Here's Williams. Hadani doing a power of work as per usual. Brazier. Kaka will just got the handle, playing in a more central role for New Zealand as well. Boy, she's hassled by Williams. New Zealand not making a lot of ground, but retaining possession. Hiddenly looking for a bit of footwork and some space for Woodman. She hasn't been able to find his. Poldy Lane again with a wonderful bust in the first half. Going to lose possession there, though. Shani Williams puts her head in a dark place, wins possession back and goes and goes quickly. Dumped into the ground by Woodman, and that allows Williams, the other one, Niall, to get over the ball, but a penalty against New Zealand. Oh, was that talking back to the referee? Oh, she's lucky. Oh, she is off. Throwing the ball away. I think when Australia looked to press, and I think Keswick certainly made the referee. No, so New Zealand down to six. That is a massive mistake. Can Australia make New Zealand pay and extend this advantage? Ashby holds the pass. Power runners, Lefau Fakusalia, it takes or do say two to bring it down. Slips the ball for Nathan. And Australia do make New Zealand pay. Nathan, one of the most prolific try scorers since she's been playing for Australia. Here it is here. Kelly Brazier had to work hard to come in on the inside and fly just didn't trust Brazier to make the tackle and ended up coming in to help her. It was the right decision. It's the only thing she could have done. Beautiful offload. And there she is, ready to pounce. Conversion is no good. But straight away there, look at Faith Nathan. Nine tries in the tournament. She has had quite a wonderful season. Like the collision in the air between Woodman and Levi. 17 10 it is Australia leading, and still plenty of time on that Sinbin clock for New Zealand to be down to six, having to hold on a bit at the moment. Pucky. Ashby. Really dangerous in this area. Early ball for Levi Hidany coming across. Levi's going to have the pace on Hidany. Too easy for Maddie Levi around the corner, and it's another hat trick for Madison Levi against New Zealand. Well, Hidany just gave too much space to the speedster. 
needed to cut down straight away and get up in her face. She backed herself to take up. And on the odd occasion, that tap would have worked, but not tonight. Australia. Those jerseys certainly are looking gold right now. and this time Williams does convert. This is a big mountain to climb for New Zealand now. Madison Levi, what a player she is. Three tries in the final, two tries. Well, down to six in the power play. Black, black. Oh, loose ball lands for Ashby. Okay, sorry. Oh, just the knock on though, off the Australian hand. New Zealand need to make the most of the scrum. Okay. Must score oh, next to be able to get the two tries to get an Crouch. equal yep. to Australia. Bind. Set. Oh, Australia almost got caught with eight on there, I think, for a moment. Someone was wise to it, cleverly done. Oh, oh, big collision. Referee has taken out Kelly Brazier. Holdy lane for Blyde. Just been no space for the likes of Blyde and Woodman for New Zealand. And so it's Kaka who tries to go out the middle. And Saeeli with some fancy footwork as well. Elena Saeeli looking for the support runners. Can't get them. Slides to the knees. Not held. Pops the ball for Kaka. Running up on the shoulder. Levi Chase. Kaka goes in for New Zealand. Or well, does she? Check in, try or not. This game has got everything, Ricky. What a wonderful break this was. It came from nothing. We're going to check out the grounding out. That's a try. Holly, you yep. may award the try. Thank you. No problem on that one. New Zealand hit back. And this is what happens when you bring on fresh legs. So, Nina Saini. Getting that massive break right through the middle of that Australian defence. This is crucial for sure. Reese Poldy Lane adds two more. The gap closes, but just under two minutes to play. It's 24-17 in Australia's favour. Here it is here. Beautiful offload as per usual. Great support play. Great comeback, New Zealand. Tegan Levi, that is onto the field and knocked it on. So there's more ball for New Zealand here. Well, luck going against Australia now. Two errors to New Zealand in the first half. And now it's two all. This kickoff's just a little difficult. Thanks very much. The Aussies. Stand back on. Crouch. Tanika Willison comes in Bind. at a vital moment in this game for New Zealand. Just on a Set. minute, seven well, points the difference. Short. Australia in the box seat at the moment, but New Zealand with the ball. Kaka thought about offloading. Oh, Kaslik, gee, that's good. Oh, good, I was going to say, didn't release her though. Oh, that was very lucky for the New Zealanders. You've got to make it obvious when you tackle. And your release, and there's your penalties. There's quite a few Australia giving away. New Zealand need a converter try to tie it up. Knocked down off the hand in the tackle of Australia, so it'll still be more New Zealand ball, but it's all leading up time now. New Zealand trying the moves right on that advantage line where the Australian defence are. It's quite risky. Crouch. Bind. Set. Last play. Now or never for New Zealand. They need seven points. Kaka. Kaka gets the arms free for Blyde. Changes back into field, back a direction. Willison, it's a fumble, not backwards. I've got to go 45 metres, New Zealand. If that win and retain the World Cup, or Australia looking to create another slice of history. Blyde, they've given her no room. 
Hedini. Loses the footing. Brazier, who's got one big moment in them for New Zealand. Or look at that goal, that connection between that Aussie defence. Detoy not missing on Hedini. New Zealand have gone backwards. And Brazier headlong into Pucky. It's relentless defence from Australia. No way through for Kaka from there. Saeli made the bust earlier. What she got this time, tracked across field by not one, but two. A pair of Levi's after her. And Australia might have won this ball back. Oh, another penalty for New Zealand. Tap and go for Willison. Now Hedini looking to go up the middle. Crowd roaring these teams on. Another one. It's energy sapping, gut busting, but there's a World Cup on the line. Michaela Blyde up over the 22. No one say thank you. Hedini and Kaka. Kaka looks to straighten up, pops the ball for Saeli. Elena Saeli to score the try. And now a conversion to come. Tanika Willison to tie it and send it into extra time. Kicks away. Australia are the champions. Australia for the first time since 2009 will win Rugby World Cup Sevens. A glittering season ends in gold. Jubilation for two of the great champions of the game and the young rising stars who have taken the Sevens world by storm. New Zealand immediately rushed to their mate. They missed the kick, but we can go straight to get some reaction the joy and delight on the faces of the winning captains, Charlotte Kesley and Demi Hayes, I believe, both standing by. Well, we are very envious to have two of the stars of the game right here now. Since 2009, there has not been Australia on that Rugby World Cup title. How good does that sound? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We spoke a lot about the 09 girls today, um, doing it for them, doing it for the whole squad and everyone back home that um, has left this legacy before us so we can continue it on. Commonwealth Games, World Series title, and now World Cup in the same year for the first time ever. Debbie, your smile says a lot, but how significant of achievement is that? Yeah, I think it's so exciting for our, our group, just the, the 12 of us and everyone back home, our families, the whole Australia, I think. Um, hopefully we've done all of them proud, and as you said, I don't think it's, it's never been done before, so to take that home is really special. Talk about Golden Girls. Back in 2016, you inspired some of your teammates you're playing with today, Charlotte. What could be the effect of this back home? <laughs> Um, like I said, we're talking about the 09 girls today, so hopefully in uh, three more cycles, girls, we're talking about us and what we achieved this year and, um, yeah, continuing on the legacy that's Australian Women's Sevens, which is pretty fucking awesome. Pretty awesome, we'll give you that. Apologies for language there, but it's understandable, very emotive. Demi, final word for the captain here. How special achievement for the younger ones especially. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, our group is a lot of young ones and there's even more coming through at the moment. So it's so exciting for them to get three wins under their belt, especially this year, and to take it forward into the Olympic year in 2024. Well, the people listening on might well be scared by that. Thank you very much, girls. Go and enjoy this moment with your team. Thank you. Thanks so much. Co-captains have been through a lot together and at the other end. There is so much respect between these teams. Tanika Willison had the final say, could have sent us to extra time. But that's what it's about right now, that little moment there. Look, it was the whole team from Australia who really stood up with this one. They did get the tries out wide, but they were physical. They gave it to New Zealand, and they really deserved the win. They are the best sevens team in the world right now. And one of the best players in the world is down on the field, standing by with Rob Vickerman. We got player of the final, Shani Williams, so close often with these two teams, but what was the point of difference today, do you feel? Oh man, it's a tough battle always with our rivalries of New Zealand, but 
you know, it's just that skill ex execution. As soon as we all had set piece, you could see that they unfolded. They scored, we scored. It became a really great testament to what Rugby Sevens is. we have been respectful. You've been around the game a while. How special is this group? Man, this group, I love these girls, you know. They keep me young, you know, old girl, new tricks. Um, can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you definitely can with this group. Um, been getting my TikToks out and, and whatnot, but uh, they get me in my uncomfortable zone, which uh, obviously you can see. I think we might have another TikTok moment here. Thank you very much, Shani. Go enjoy it. Thanks very much. Thanks uh, to World Rugby for this uh, tournament, and thank you to South Africa. You put on a great spectacle. Cheers.